Hey guys, it's Ryan Butler with Keller Williams, and today we're gonna be on part two of new construction homes. And we're speaking on the cons for new construction. So some of the cons for new constructions are going to be, one, you're actually paying a premium for a home. Now you're getting to choose all of the finishes and the design and layout that you want. However, that comes at a price. That's a premium price. Usually new construction is gonna be a premium cost and the neighborhood you're in. And so it takes a little bit longer sometimes to get your value back from what you put in. Part two of that is that it can be a long tiring process. So if you go on a new construction contract in you know, the end of the year and it takes 12 months to get through that, that's a lot of times having to check up on the building of the home and making sure all the documentation is up to date, uh, worrying about the changing interest rates and making sure that you're not having any issues with your credit and, and not being able to buy a car or new furniture or anything for 12 months. Usually on a resale home, that's you know 30 to 60 days, but on a new construction home, that takes a little bit longer. One of the third cons for new construction is you don't know where the closing date is. So they can tell you it could be eight months or 12 months, and that could put a cramp on your, your transition from your current location to your new location. So if you're on a year lease or a, in a lease that's ending in, in a, a certain date, and that date, you're trying to match it up for when your home is built, and then you find out it's not, you might have to go to a temporary living situation, or you might have to extend your lease for another few months or pay a premium um, for not signing a one-year lease and being month to month. So that's something to keep in mind in consideration when you have a new construction home. And one of the last cons that you'll see is even within the new construction home community, if you purchase later in that community, say a second phase or a third phase, you're typically gonna pay more than phase one. So phase one usually gets the most discounts the most closing cost assistance, as well as the cheapest purchase price because they're taking on more of the risk. However, when that community is starting to mature, the later homes that are built tend to cost a little bit more money. So um, that's also a con for the new construction homes. So those are a few cons that we talked about when you're buying a new construction home. Part one was some of the pros, and so you'll have to weigh what makes sense for your own purchase. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please contact me. Otherwise, catch you on the next one.